Now, before we get started, this is not a substitute for the printed fitting instructions, and is mandatory that the fitting instructions are read thoroughly several times before going any further. This video is only a general how to assemble and install the side boat loader. Each fitment will differ slightly. So we can load the boat. We start by attaching the ramps like earlier and adjusting the telescopic leg out to around 30 degrees. At this point we need to make sure both ramps are in line with each other. Take the kit SBLK9 and separate the long and short ropes ready for installation. Once the ropes are separated, take the short ropes and attach the snap shackle using a bowline knot, which is detailed in the fitting instructions. With the boat positioned into place, adjust the length of the short ropes so it will clip onto the eye bolt. Repeat this process to the front of the boat. In order to install the axle ropes, we must first insert the necessary hardware into the axle, securing the ropes with the rope retainer and fitting like so. Tighten the bolts on the pillar block and worm drive that we left loose earlier. Operate the worm drive taking up three to four reels of rope. Adjust and tie the snap shackles to each axle bar rope, like so. Now that all ropes are attached, we can start our first load. Load the boat until it has flipped up and sitting vertically on its side. Stop and check the alignment of the centre line of the boat. The centre of the boat should be parallel with the ground as shown in the instructions. If it's not parallel, adjust the short ropes until you achieve the desired result. Once all level, load the boat to the top of the vehicle and adjust the axle bar ropes accordingly to ensure a neat and tidy coil assembly which aids in the even loading of the boat. To do this, first loosen the rope retainer and push the coils to the furthest point of the axle bar without interfering with the worm drive or pillar blocks. <laughs> 